G'day guys, Nick here at the EBMX showroom and I'm here with Jay Rose. Hey Jay. guys. So Jay, we are playing stealths today mate. Oh yeah. We love our stealths and we're here at EBMX showroom. We have a little area we call Stealth Corner. So we've got a red P7R here on the floor. So that's rated at 1500 watts and a black F37 or a fighter, and that's rated at 3,700 watts of power. And the B-52 bomber, which is the big, big boy of the group, the B-52, that's rated at 6,200 watts. So we've actually got a B-52 over here, and this is one of the original B-52s. I think the VIN or the frame number for this is 289, Jay. Mm, it is, yeah. And we just picked it up yesterday and we wanted to spend a little bit of time talking to the viewers about the modifications that have been done to this particular B-52 and when you look at it, it looks quite a bit different to the normal bomber, Jay. Absolutely. Well, you can see straight away your, uh, your control unit. Yeah. Where, uh, where, where is it? <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. So it originally was built on the outside, as of you can course. see the other stealths. Yep, yep. So Stealth always have their controllers sitting on the downside of the uh, the frame. Um, the uh, original owner of this, he rides it like a moto and rides it like he stole it, and was having issues with basically hitting hitting the controller. So he's undone the whole thing, and he's actually fitted it up inside the frame, made some room. Wow. So it's inside here now. There's, this bike has got a lot, a lot of modifications done it, to it. It has uh, been, been for an heavily hour more. modified, mate, hasn't <laughs> it? It has, yeah. yeah. So the main one being, yeah, we've moved the controller in there. We've upgraded the motor here. So completely different motor. So this is a high torque uh, MXUS motor. Yep. It's got the hub sinks and obviously running some ferro fluid. But the, the owner of this bike, or the old owner, has actually gone a little bit further with the relacing of the um, of the spokes and the motor, Jay, hasn't That's he? Because right, you can yeah. actually see where he's re-engineered this and he's uh, re-drilled into the motor yep. into a, a deeper position. So you can see those original holes that are sitting up the top there and he's actually taken the holes, re-drilled maybe five mil further down. That's right. And he was finding that they were, they were pulling, because it had a lot of torque, pulling, pulling the spokes out of the motor. Yeah, uh, so, so, so when much it cuts torque. the hit. On yeah. that hub motor, the spokes were coming out, and, so. and getting uh, when yeah when they did get a hit, that you know they'd come out. So he's he's done that to it, which is a very very good motor modification. Sure this, is mate. Uh, this rear motor wheel too smaller as well. Uh, more again, torque, more torque, uh, more grip. Much yeah, much wow. more solid. We we Once might we, get we a might put a new tire on it, <laughs> hey mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, same as the swing arm. In order to actually fit this moto rim. Oh yeah. This this swing arm's not original either. Uh, there's basically nothing original on this bike, maybe the frame. <laughs> yeah, that's a, probably <laughs> yeah. about it. Uh, so then, yeah, he's, he's changed the swing arm. Yep, he has. What, what, what else? What about the back suspension? Because that looks pretty plush when you're doing yeah, it. You is, can really yeah. see it This has it been moving. revalved uh, to his weight, yep. which makes a huge difference in riding. Oh, to yeah. be honest, the biggest upgrade, in my opinion, you can do on a bike is not extra power. It's not, a, not brake. Not, all you're about you're a suspension man, J Rose, about aren't suspension. you? All about suspension. All about suspension. Absolutely. Don't put your money anywhere else other than suspension, In suspension. until you get, you know, until you're getting the full use of, of that bike. Um, <laughs> so moving forward, yeah. we've got the Fox 40s on it too. Fox 40s, so top of the tops, the Fox 40s. Yeah. Wow, they certainly were in their day before Ollens, uh, Ollens came out and, and did some bike suspension so yep. i know there's still a lot of moto crew and heavy uh, mtb crew who think fox 40s are the very best forks yeah. in the world and i, I, I think can't, they're really good can't disprove them yeah, on that no, they, they do feel really nice yeah um the other thing too over here the regen buttons what it, what is set up here is it's actually milled up and made this uh, micrometer switch for the rear brake so it enables okay. a small amount of rear braking before the regen actually kicks in. 
Gotcha. So what that's doing, it's allowing you to do a little bit of braking before mm -hmm. you you really before want to slow down. Before that sort of down. real heavy regen kicks Comes in. Comes in and slows you right down. So that, that's a cool idea. Yeah. The other thing over here, if you look on the uh, switch block, mm -hmm. he's got uh, this regen button which you can click and hold in. So say if you've got a massive down mm -hmm. downhill descent, so you basically just click that in and it will engage like, the whole like time. Like a cruise control for regen. Basically <laughs> like, a, like a four stroke enduro braking engine braking as such how cool is that uh or your traditional style which all the styles come with which yeah. you just press and hold as, as required i love it and it's got it's got the hope tech brakes which really again yeah. are a top of the top yeah look it's uh certainly been used Ooh. which oh, yeah. uh which is why we, yeah we, we've bought it and yeah. we are going to make this thing we, pretty we are thick. Yeah. I, jay i also love the uh the full domino throttle yeah. wow it was yeah. about to take off. You can see the, the yeah. wheel spinning there. <laughs> so you've got a, got a full domino throttle here. Yeah. And, and to be able to do that, he's actually uh, extended things. So yeah. he's made running... A, made a new throttle tube as well. Yeah, running some dainty or specialised bars, I think, here. And he's got a, a fun um, headset. Yep. Um, I think there's a dropper post on this one as well. There is, there? yeah. So, Just here too, which is... So, uh, you, so you can... Let me get on it. Yeah. <laughs> here he goes. It does work, the dropper post, yep. <laughs> well, that's a great idea as, as well for, for running stealths enduro or downhill. Yeah, absolutely. Get uh, it so out of the can, way. You can put a dropper post on a stealth. I haven't seen a lot of stealths with them, but you certainly can do it. Yeah. Now, the other thing, Jay, that uh, I know the x has done, to be able to fit that controller inside of the, um, the enclosed battery, the, the framework there, he's changed the battery, so he's Correct. running running some uh, some lipo type yes. batteries at the moment which obviously are very powerful and a lot smaller mm -hmm. than say the 18650 cells mm -hmm. or the normal type of leon uh, batteries that are inside of a, a stealth so there's enough room for the controller and the battery to both fit in there which yep. is uh, which is pretty clever yeah in it our is. opinion yeah and it's yeah it's got a lot of it won't it doesn't give you that top speed that the the, the it's the geared, new geared down for low torque, yeah, it, isn't it? It's a real hill climbing bike, which I think is a lot of fun. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, it's it's also fun to go really fast, but <laughs> I, I personally prefer something that can climb. Yeah, a really yeah. steep hill, and this is going to do that once we uh, yeah, chuck yeah. some better boots on it. But um, yeah, so we'll we'll uh, maybe change the tires. I know the front tire also. He's talking about he's got a tire inside of a tire. It does yeah yeah. Which so we'll, we'll pull apart and have a look. I didn't. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that before. No. So uh, interesting yeah. to how it rolls. You have a tire yeah. inside of a tire. Yeah yeah. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So basically, this Stealth Bomber number two eighty nine has been completely remodified mm -hmm. by our, our friend down in Sydney. We feel very lucky and privileged for him to have uh, allowed ABMX to purchase it off him and yeah. to make this our, our project signature mm. stealth bike here at EBMX showroom. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be having a lot of fun on this bike over the next little while and we'll I report so. to our audience and the viewers and give you some, some updates. Now there's yeah. one final thing that I'd love to do before we sign off, Jay, What's and that's that? get you on the bike, man. Oh, and, right. <laughs> and just see see how it goes if we can. Okay, we, yeah. can, we can certainly try. <laughs> bit restrictive in here but oh it's you don't have to pull any wheelies or major <laughs> skids or anything man but how does she go she goes it's, i think yeah. pretty good it's a nice bike even just to pedal yep you just feel it's really planted like the suspension just feels incredible it's got that that downhill bike feel where it squats in the rear in order for the front to get over anything yeah. as you can see as i ride off it's it's it is soft in the rear but Yep, it does feel like it's got support there. Cool. Which is cool. Yeah, that's... Love it. Yeah. Woohoo! Good, real good. <laughs> he does wheelie it. A lot, lot of talk. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to having a turn of this bike. If it stops raining out here soon, Jay and I will be yep. testing some more bikes. Absolutely. Well, that's it from me, Nick, and from Jay Rose. Thanks signing very off. very much, guys. From EVMX. Happy Friday. Cheers.